Hey beautiful people. So a lot of people don't know how to use Palo Santo and in this video I'm going to show you how to properly use Palo Santo and how you can use it to cleanse your house and your crystals. So Palo Santo is a very powerful herb used for cleansing and for protection. So you can use this in your home. Um, maybe the energy just feels dense. Maybe you and your partner or you and your child had a fight and that energy is going to still linger there. So you want to uh, cleanse out the space so that it's um, that energy is, is left and it's out of your home. So what you want to do is um, you want to light it and then you want to target the corners of your house because the corners is where a lot of energy is left and it's a lot of stale energy is usually there a, a lot of energy is just left in corners underneath your bed and just like stuff places that are a bit hidden okay so I'm gonna show you how you can properly use this okay so this is a very powerful powerful um, tool used for cleansing and protection and the Palo Santo is only found in Latin America and it comes from sacred trees so I'm just gonna quickly show you how you can use it for your practice so you're gonna want to use a candle you can use a tea candle or a normal candle whatever you choose so you're just gonna um, put you're gonna give the Palo Santo gratitude for working with you and for helping you cleanse so you're just gonna give it your gratitude. You can do that telepathically. And you're gonna leave it on the candle for maybe 20 to 30 seconds because Palo Santo actually tends to burn out very quickly. So you, you wanna see, you wanna have it be burning for like 10 to 15 seconds, okay? And this is such a beautiful and powerful tool and it's very important that as we do our healing work our energy work that we're also conscious and aware of the planet and um so you just want to blow it out once and you see there's a lot of smoke so i was saying that you want to be conscious of the healing work that you're doing because we have to do it sustainably right we can't harm mother earth and by palo santo that's not sourced ethically and sustainably because then we would be hurting the earth and then our healing work wouldn't be aligned and so please make sure you um, try to be conscious with your practice um, just use it use use a bit you know um, and this will last you a really long time that's why I choose to use this instead of sage because um, this lasts longer and sage is already becoming very um it, it, it's it's already endangered and so um i've decided to use this in my practice so this is a pendulum and this is a crystal and this uh is used to give answers to any yes or no question so uh, i have a separate video about that so you can go check that out um so basically what you're going to do is you're going to rotate the palo santo seven times counterclockwise okay so we go one two three four five six seven and then you do seven times counterclockwise to cleanse and then we're going to do seven circles clockwise to activate so it's one two three four five six seven okay and now so the seven clockwise circles are to activate okay so we're act we're charging our crystals okay well you have to cleanse and then you have to charge your crystal and i always feel the pulsations in my crystal so whenever you're done you put that palo santo down uh, you just let it sage the rest of your home and you let it um just burn out naturally and what you're going to do next is you're just going to hold your crystal in your left hand you're going to remove any electronics from your body and you're going to close your eyes and you're going to tune into the crystal now you may feel pulsations you may feel warmth maybe tingles maybe you'll get a shock down your arm or maybe you'll get visions everyone is different so just see how you feel and that's how you know that your crystals activate uh charged so i hope you enjoy this video if you want to see more subscribe to my channel and follow us on Instagram at Golden Age Alchemy. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.